like I I hate the idea of cancel culture. I am for justice and rights and all that, but the idea that people can band together to get somebody fired from their career and take away their livelihood, it's just it's not it good. blows my mind for like just that like if you if you really put everybody's life under a microscope, it's kind of like the glass house scenario where it's like um, why are you throwing stones when you live in a glass house? Everybody probably has done something that would get them canceled had it been broadcasted or public. But now we're canceling people for things that don't even make sense to me. People can just state facts, and if they even sense a little bit of like politics in it, they're going to just eat you alive. Oh, yeah. It's insane to me. Yeah, it doesn't even have to do with like who the person is. It's just like a thing of about politics at this point. Like, yeah. If you're making it so political to the point to where it has nothing to do with your character, that's very bad. Yeah. It, it's it's crazy. Which also goes to what we could have talked about later, but I think we should bring up is. I mean, it, it kind of goes in the same scenario. So let's let's uh, talk about Ru- it. Ruslan, getting Ruslan canceled? canceled? Question, Question mark? mark? Yeah. I oh, man. I mean, I wouldn't say he got canceled, but he definitely got checked by YouTube. Yeah, definitely. And it was so ironic in the scenario in which he's talking about YouTube policies and guidelines and kind of defending he's it. Defending YouTube. Yeah. Ball, YouTube is canceling him for yeah. defending YouTube. And I even mean, his video where he seems jaded to me about it, but kind of like put on a brave face. He's a good speaker. He just kind of looked at the camera and he was just kind of like... That's what I would say. He's, trying to he's like, really good at speaking. He, I feel like he was trying to... Like, you know, if you make this face, you shouldn't get canceled. <laughs> yeah. He, he was trying to like still be like, YouTube, are we cool? Like, I, I'm just trying to explain myself. Like, I was on your side. But my thing is like, what about if YouTube is going over the rails... What about if you're if they if you don't agree with YouTube and they just cancel you? I mean, not cancel you, but cut you off and like your just your stuff's cut down. I mean, down. they're I think they're a private organization. Which yeah, means it's they legal. Can do that stuff. It's legal, but what's really wrong about it is they're so biased. Yeah, they will stand up for one side and not the other, or in a sense, push down the other side and oh yeah, oh yeah, bring up the other one. It's it's just insane for for to see like um, I don't know I just never when I look at these companies and stuff and I see them like kind of have like like Google kind of has a monopoly on like when it comes to YouTube like as far as video what would you call that video playing video like people are, that's our main source is like YouTube people go to YouTube and stuff it's just unfortunate to see like the places where videos are being posted the I'll most. I'll use their own lingo. They have their own monetization on it. Yeah, and so it's unfortunate to see people. You know, that we go to watch videos and stuff, and if you have political views, you're only going to see one side. <laughs> Your comment just is just right there. <laughs> My comment, I know. I was like, ah, Ruslan. Yeah. Um, I mean, I just thought it was really, I mean, I should really play a part of this. Ironic. This video is not clickbait. I it's got clickbait. kicked off and suspended from YouTube. It's 100% clickbait. While in the middle of a stream defending YouTube. This is a brief update. As some of you guys know, there's been a lot of talk from Christians, believers, folks in my community about big tech nice camera censorship. Change. And yeah, he's all hitting the switches. I feel like, this. like yeah. it shouldn't affect me, but maybe <laughs> clearly I'm wrong. I was in the middle of a live stream a couple of days ago, and I was ending it with, hey, I think as long as we are known by the things we're for, we're going to be good. But nevertheless, partner with your favorite creators, support them on Patreon, so on and so forth. In the middle of this, my stream goes out. And then I get a notification that I have a community strike on my YouTube. If you don't Ooh, know what a community strike, rough. it means that you are suspended for seven days. This is different than a copyright strike. This is a community strike. So I went and looked, and there was a video from January 6th where the Capitol riots happened. And there was a video of me reacting to Donald Trump's speech. I basically said the speech was nonsense, that the voter fraud allegations were unmerited. E- even if that is true, all that's fake and all that, just for somebody, let alone the president, to get up and talk about something, it, and then for YouTube, YouTube or Facebook or whatever, just to pull the video and you know, yeah. say, this is not right. Like, 